Hello and welcome to this very quick video for this Patreon of mine, Patreon called Andy. Andy has asked a fantastic question. How do you set up Walksnail in things like iNav? Now this is super easy and iNav makes it incredibly easy to set up any HD system you want to connect. I check out the videos that I have already on the channel of the builds that I've done. I invariably use Walksnail with my iNav builds so I have gone through it. But what I got here is one of the quads. This is actually the quad that I built in my quadcopter building for beginner series that I did at the beginning of the year. And this is a perfect thing for me to plug in quickly and show you Andy of what you need to do. So let's plug the model into the computer. And let's click on connect. And there's only a handful of things that you need to think about. First of all, in the ports, we need to have a port selected that is going to be talking to the Walksnail system. And this is typically, there are four wires coming out of a Walksnail uh, avatar unit, one for ground, one for power, and then a transmit and receive pair. That transmit and receive pair needs to be connected inversely. So the transmit pin on the avatar unit goes to the receive pin on the UART on a spare UART. And you set that UART up in iNav, saying UART a lot right now, to be for MSP plus display port. That tells iNav that that is where you want display port set up. You don't need to go in the CLI or change any settings, just set MSP display port for the UART that you have the transmit and receive pins connected to that go into the avatar unit. Next thing we need to do then is in configuration, we obviously need to make sure that the uh, OSD is turned on. So we have it turned on in there. That's gonna be turned on by default, but leave it turned on. Then we need to go into the OSD tab itself. And this is where the magic happens. Over here on the right hand side is where we can tell iNav exactly which HD system we're using. So we can either have HD0, DJI WTFOS, if you have that set up on yours, Avatar, or the Betaflight 4.3 compatibility uh, or Betaflight HD compatibility. So if you're using some of the older DJI stuff, that Betaflight 4.3 is what you want. You'll notice that the window will change size as you choose it, but we were gonna choose Avatar. That will then show you on the screen where all the icons can sit. So this is a representation of the view that we would have out the front. This red area is depicting the limits and also the purple area is depicting areas where you shouldn't go. So for example, in the Walksnail system, where this little box is here in the top right-hand corner of the image, that is going to be the place where the record icons, whether you're recording locally in the goggles and or in the avatar unit on the model is going to appear here. So you don't want any OSD elements in here. So I would keep it within these two red wire lines above the purple line and outside of that purple box. And you can drag things around. Now the cool thing is, it is going to hide all the stuff that you can't have. Uh, the only things I would recommend if you're going to play with this, the other big tip is go and check out my videos on the sneaky FPV tools. They are fantastic. Don't forget you can also download the files from your goggles after you fly and reconstitute this on-screen display in whichever way you want. Using custom fonts is a fantastic way and will change the way it actually looks in the goggles. But Andy, hopefully that is going to get you sorted out. All you need to do, first of all, make sure that the port that you have the unit plugged into is set for MSP plus display port. Leave the speed at 115200. Make sure the transmit pin on the avatar unit goes to the receive pin on the UART and vice versa. Make sure that in configuration, OSD is turned on. So it's gonna make sure that that stuff happens. And then in the OSD tab, just select avatar as your HD FPV type drag and turn on the elements that you want and they should appear automatically. Don't forget, do check out the sneaky FPV videos on the channel. I'll put a couple of links down below to pimp out the on-screen display and get fantastic full color, beautiful fonts that are a joy to use. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.